Welcome to Talk of the Town. I am Carrie Dillon, sitting in for Sandy Benson. Our first guest today, we have Jennifer McEwen, who is from the town of Hilton Head, Office of Cultural Affairs. And we have Lauren Andrew, who is an artist. And there's a really exciting project that's taking place here. Y'all are doing a mural. How did Island Rec and Cultural Affairs, how did that partnership take place? Well, I met Lauren probably about a year ago, and she's a very talented mural artist. And just through conversation with Frank Sewell, the executive director of the Island Rec, they were building this beautiful new facility. If you have not been, go check it out. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And um, in conversation, Frank was like, yeah, let's do an art project. Art's, you know, part of, you know, the whole being wellness spectrum. It's perfect for the community room. It's going to be yeah. it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Lauren's designed a really beautiful peacemaker mural and it will be perfect having the community actually put their, you know, paint to brush to the wall in the community room. Will yes, be special. let me touch on that. That's the event that's taking place. Folks can come and be part of making the mural and that's going to be on the 9th of February. That's from 9 to 4. It's going to be at that brand new Island Rec community room. So, Lauren, tell us a little bit about this mural that you've designed and this is like how many have you done? Um, this will be one, two, three, f the fourth mural that I've done. Wow. Yeah. And so tell us about it. How did you, how did you come up with the concept? And Yeah. Um, so last year, summer, we got to do a community mural in Bluffton uh, centered around domestic violence awareness. And it was an amazing success. It was super fun. It was the first like paint by number style mural that I had done. Um, and then when I met um, Jen, she was super excited about the idea. And um, so in terms of inspiration and the concept, um, it feels like there's a ton going on in the community and a lot of stressors related to causes and how people feel about things. Um, to the point that it almost feels like people have lost their minds. <laughs> it, it, is. It, it is. It is. It is a it is. state of things. People, yeah. So many people have gotten to that place where they never say anything, but they've got to weigh in. Oh, yeah. You know, I've seen that so many times. I usually don't say anything. This is such a wonderful opportunity to share and speak visually. Yes, and the idea is that you can come from a place of anger and bitterness, but that's not going to really... Uh, make your life better. Right. Um, and so these are iconic images of people, peacemakers across time and history who just represent what peace means. And so people get to come out and um, experience what nonviolence looks like and get to leave a lasting impression on the community. And there's something about the arts. It's a universal communicator. Um, and so very excited. So how do people actually get to participate? Just come on down. We're going to be at Island Rec from Show 9 up. to 4, all ages, all skill levels. There is something for everybody to contribute to this mural. So just show on up. Show on up with it. And so what's next with the Office of Cultural Affairs? Uh, we have another project we're doing with the Island Rec um, that is a wall hanging project around endangered species of the coastal Carolinas. So we'll be doing some lectures at Coastal Discovery in the Island Rack. We will be doing some batik, which is a wax to oh, fabric I love that. Um, lecture and um, workshops, and some indigo lectures and workshops all over at the Island Rack through February and March. And that is sponsored by the Community Foundation of the Low Country. Thank you, Community Foundation of the Low Country. <laughs> They're fantastic. Um, so there's, uh, you can, there's so much going on, like you were saying. There's so much going on. And y'all are going to document this. And, and, and I'm sure you also, for all these other events that you have going on social media, tell us about how we follow all of this. Yes. Right now, we're kind of documenting the before. But we will also be showing the after on um, both our Facebook and Instagram, which is Culture HHI. And we have a living website where all of this is constantly being updated at culturehhi.org. Wonderful. So this partnership, are you seeing other potential partnerships with, with the arts and, and the community sort of coming together? Definitely. I'm Lauren's heading to the middle school right after this, mm -hmm. and we're going to be working quite a bit with the schools and um, the community foundation. The We have a junk art workshop going on at Shelter Cove on April 19th, which is also free, where we have a professional artist and a poet who are coming together oh. and people are going to make art out of unrecyclable trash. Love it. Um, so that'll be April 19th from 1 to 4 and that's another just drop on in and let's make free art together yeah. and awesome. write poetry. So and we got drop in. I just want to cover that once more and that's going to be the 9th of February from 9 to 4. Just show up. 
Everybody <laughs> wants something with the, to do with their kids, you know, what a great opportunity to express. and It's dummy proof, too. So people are like, oh, I don't have any creative talent. We're making it yeah, so you, you can come and you do. Yes. Yeah, you do wonderful. And leave your mark on the rec for the whole yeah. community. How Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks so much for being here, y'all. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. having us.